there were a few people asking questions and some of those questions were very, very concerning. People were asking, are you allowed to be intimate with your spouse during the fast? Now that is quite a strange question, but then again, there are people who probably are ignorant. Fasting from dawn to dusk means you abstain from food and drink, you abstain from foul language and so on. You also abstain from intimacy with your spouse during the daylight hours. Now, that which is haram and prohibited is obviously haram inside and outside of Ramadan. If someone was doing something haram and were to engage in haram during the fast, then that would be a double sin. One for it being haram uh, and two for it to be breaking the fast in that way. But another very, very important point is your own spouse as well. You cannot have intimacy with your spouse during the daylight hours of Ramadan. At night, it is permissible. The Quran expressly mentions the night and says that it is permissible. So it's not like you have to stay away from your spouse for the entire month. But my brothers and sisters, if someone does do that during the daylight hours of Ramadan, then it is a major sin. And in order to compensate for that, you would have to fast 60 consecutive fasts after Ramadan and seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is something that people don't like to discuss, but it, it needs to be discussed. Someone also asked in the live session, is it permissible to masturbate during the fast? Does it break the fast? The answer is it definitely breaks the fast and you would have to make that fast again sometime after Ramadan and seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, if it was haram and a person actually did something that was prohibited, uh, then it makes the matter even worse, which means if you have fornication during the, the fast, then it's worse because that is prohibited even if you're not fasting. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us. Uh, if a person were to masturbate, not only is the fast broken, but their, their wudu and ghusl is actually nullified. They would need to bathe again before they can pray or read the Quran. These are the days of Ramadan. They're supposed to impact upon you. You're supposed to develop your relationship with Allah. Take them seriously and engage in some form of extra act of worship, even if it is just dua. A lot of us are very lazy when it comes to taraweeh, when it comes to extra dua, extra tilawa and recitation of the Quran, supplication. Please don't be lazy. These are not days to be lazy. We must make sure that we have done the best that we can uh, and at least seek the forgiveness of Allah. So a question arises, what is the best supplication I could make? The best supplication you could make is to seek for the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Seek the forgiveness by saying, Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. Oh Allah, you are most forgiving. You love to forgive, so forgive me. Some might add to it, Allahumma innaka afuun kareemun rahimun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. It's okay to add that because that is, uh, those are different names and qualities of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you may ask Allah in that particular way. It's a very good dua. And that goes to show that achieving forgiveness is by far one of the most important things that we, uh, or blessings that we can achieve of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiveness.